Hello guys, how are you doing? I am coming to you guys today to give you guys an update on my journey. I know I've been gone for a while. It's just been, I guess, um, busy. I've been working a whole bunch. And so I have not been able to sit down and actually edit a video or, you know, bring forth any content. But as I'm on my way to work, I guess I will be able to bring you guys um, an update on my R&Y gastric bypass journey. So as of today, um, I have completed an, um, four of my weight loss visits. So my next visit will be my fifth visit of six. So I'm almost done with the weight loss visits. I have also, since the last time we spoke, um, the last, what, two visits, I have primarily been at the same weight, uh, which is 339. I have not lost or gained any pounds, um, so that's good. I'm able to maintain it. I do want to lose at least, you know, 10 more pounds before um, the day of my procedure. So that's that's my goal. Um, I've had my psyche valve, which was over the phone, um, and that was very convenient because I was actually on my work on my way to work that day, um, and it went well. Um, I have not, and I'm being honest, being honest, I have not been able to meal prep like I want to. Um, and make sure that I'm preparing the meals that are high in protein, low in carbs. I have been on the go so much, so, so much. But and all in all, I'm, babe, I'm still able to um, maintain my weight. Um, I've had a stress test, which was stressful in itself. So um, because of my hip injury, I had the Lexi scan um, done, and it was basically where they run a dye through your 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 uh, through an IV, and they put you on the machine, and they also hook you up to EKG um, to you know all right to check your um, you know your heartbeats and whatnot the rhythms. And to make sure everything sounds great, so the day of my stress test, I did record a video. However, I have not been able to edit it, so I'm just, I'm just going straight in and um, recording this video for you guys. So and uploading it. So anywho, so I went in. Um, the check-in was a smooth process and I got to the back and they went to start an IV on my arm here and they were unable to find any veins and it was partially my fault because when they told me that I couldn't eat or drink anything and I could have a sip of water here now and then I just didn't drink anything and I believe that that dehydrated me to the point where my veins were not visible so they took me to the back. They tried to start the IV on here, right here, which they they got drawback on the blood, um, but the needle was way too big and it did not, you know, fully go through. So, and then they shot out this vein, so it was of no use again. So he was like, you know, go into the waiting room. Here go two bottles of water. So I took like two bottles of water in probably a, a matter of five to ten minutes which made me nauseous so um but then you know when you're drinking that much water you have to start urinating so it was almost instantaneously instantaneously i started going to the bathroom and so needless to say um when i went back to the second time they were almost about to let me go and because they couldn't find the vein and then she looked and found a vein here, which is the most painful I've ever felt. And that was the sixth time I've had my um, IV ran here. Horrible feeling. 
and so they got the IV ran and it did everything and in between all of that um, I was just urinating a lot so that went well it took five hours though it took five whole hours so if you're having a stress test I want to let you know don't make any plans afterwards I did plan to go to work and I think I got to work it was like two o'clock and my appointment was at like eight so just you know keep that in mind if you gotta have a stress test so I've had my stress test done that's done um, and I've had part one of my sleep study um, the place that I'm having my sleep study done they require for you to go to a have a sleep consult where they um, at the time I didn't know this but they have to, they have to take uh, send me to an ENT um, to check my air passages so um, with that being said I went in and it was probably it took me longer to fill out the paperwork than it actually took for me to have the appointment it was just it was that quick um so i went in filled out paperwork checked in paid my little deductible and whatnot and i went back to the doctor she took um with the nurse and she takes my blood pressure which was a little high um and i think it was the instrument that they use they use the wrist cuff and those are always inaccurate because um, my blood pressure is normally spot on, just, you know, in the, the 115s to 120s over 60 to 80. So, I know that was off. Anywho, so after that, she puts a numbing reagent on two cotton balls, and she stuffs them literally in my nose, like fruit. And I'm like, because I'm like, now, I, you know, I got cotton cotton balls in my nose so I have to bring it by my mouth so I'm doing that and I'm like what is this for oh she's like oh yeah he's gonna come in and he's gonna look in your nose and your ears and he's gonna put a scope into your nose I was like oh my gosh I got instantly nervous so he comes in he was a really nice person and needless to say he comes in he looks in my ears he looks in my nose with a light um, and then he he goes into this nostril with this scope and it's the weirdest feeling because you know your, your nasal passage you know they it connects to your throat so it feels like it was getting ready to go into my throat and if this is too much you can you can click off right now but you know he's, he's pushing it in and like as it feels like it's touching the back of my throat it feels like it's getting there he asks me a question and you know and I'm like do I talk and he asked me did I have kids I was like no and then as soon as I said no he just pulls it out as like really really swift and that was the end of the process my nose felt a little weird the rest of the day just this side but it was really painless it was really quick and he said that my air passages were very clear, very pink and pretty. As a matter of fact, his words exactly was, you have some of the prettiest, the prettiest airway passages I've ever seen on a big girl. That was his words exactly. So I laughed it off. It was really funny and really cute. And so I was on my way. So the, I have my sleep study officially on this Friday coming up. And, um, it's an at-home at sleep study test. So they send you home with the instrumentation. And I'm guessing that they're going to show me how to put it on. Or that's going to come with some type of instructions to put it on. I've already kind of YouTubed it or whatever. But, you know, everyone's instrumentation may be differently, slightly. Um, or, you know, or whatever. So that's what I have going on. That is my last test or visit or what have you that I'll have to do outside of my weight loss visits. I have two more weight loss visits. One on July 11th with this, with, which is in like two two weeks from today. Um, and I'm excited. Um, I did speak with my doctor um, 
and he stated that normally, you know, after they submitted the paperwork and whatnot, it literally is up to the insurance company on how fast they move. And he said that normally, I actually, matter of fact, I have a coworker that I was able to talk to. We have the same insurance, of course. And she said her the insurance company actually like approved her surgery. I want to say she said like in two weeks. And then after that, boom, you know, they were setting up her appointment for her surgery. So, um, and she said all of that was within one month. So from her last weight loss visit. So I'm excited. Um, and so that's my update. I'm so sorry that, you know, you guys hadn't been able to get like the full gist of everything, but I am trying, going to try my best to really get on the ball with recording and bringing footage and, and what have you once I am approved. It, it gets a little bit more exciting then. Um, I have been test testing some protein shakes and and things of that nature um, but of course taste buds do tend to change from what I hear from different people so I'm hoping that they don't change extremely too much but we'll see I just don't know what this is going to bring and we'll talk later because I'm almost at my job and as you can see, I'm driving, guys. And, oh, and I am barely, barely using my um, my cane. So I have been walking without the cane for about two weeks now. Um, I'm probably going to use it today because I am feeling a, a little bit stiffer than normal, a little bit more pain than normal, so I might use it today. But that's that's an update so let me get out for here i will be um keeping you guys posted on everything and i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful day bye bye